Hello and welcome to Political Empire. I'm your host, Jeff Horseman for the Press Enterprise and PE.com. And we're going to be talking about how a misspelling affected a uh, new congressman's first day from the inland region. And uh, there's a new face on the Riverside City Council, so we're going to find out a little bit more about him. Uh, so first, it's hard enough for a freshman congressman to get respect, especially when your house website misspells your name. Newly elected Representative Raul Ruiz's name was temporarily displayed as Paul Ruiz for parts of January 3rd and 4th. Now, the error was eventually fixed. Uh, Ruiz, a Democrat from Palm Desert, uh, you may remember, defeated Republican incumbent Mary Bono Mack of Palm Springs in November. Uh, so speaking of new faces, we got one representing Ward 3 on Riverside City Council, and here to talk about that is reporter Alicia Robinson. Alicia, hello. And uh, who is the new appointee, and how did he get the job? Well, on Monday, the city council interviewed nine people, and it only took them one round of voting to pick retired city planning director Ken Gutierrez. Gutierrez is 60 years old. He worked for the city of Riverside for almost 32 years, the last nine of which he headed the planning department. Uh, he retired at the end of 2011, and apparently one of his other interests, he's quite involved with Habitat for Humanity. All right. So how long is he going to be on the council, and uh, who's, what's the plan for permanently filling that seat, and who's interested? Well, uh, he will serve until there is an election in June, and if nobody wins that outright and there's a runoff, then Gutierrez will stay on the council until November. Um, some of the city critics were kind of grumbling that, you know, of course the council picked a city hall insider, but uh, some of the council members have pointed out uh, during the process that because the person is not going to hold the seat for very long, it's important to have somebody who knows the ropes and kind of knows how things are done at city hall. Uh, so far, we only have one person who has officially said he is definitely going to run for the seat. That's Mike Subaru, who is a retired CHP officer who ran unsuccessfully for a Board of Supervisors seat in 2011. But it would not surprise me to see several of the people who did not get picked by the council for the appointment to turn around and run for the seat uh, later this year. All right. Well, Alicia, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And thank you once again for watching Political Empire. Be sure to check out PE.com for everything going on in the region. I'm Jeff Horseman, and thanks for watching.